right. We are good to go. Excellent. Okay, so what are we doing? So uh, we're going to be looking at Google Cloud. We're going to mm -hmm. be setting up a WordPress site on Google Cloud. Um, yep. We're going to set up SSL certificates using Let's Encrypt for yep. our website. Um, and then we're also going to point it to a domain. So we're going to create a new domain. Um, if you don't have access to like your own domain, then you can create one for free. Yeah. Or if you do have access to your own, then we'll also set that up. Yeah. It's, it's called duck DNS. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> duck puns. That's funny. Duck <laughs> DNS. All right, cool. Let's get started. Uh, so <laughs> the first thing, <laughs> the first thing you want to do is, um, is uh, log into your Google Cloud platform using like your Google account. So what? Yeah, uh, what do you need for that? Yeah. So if you if you don't have one already, whoa, uh, yo yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What happened? Okay, speak. Yeah. Oh my God, that was so weird. I could hear yourself. You speak twice. What? Really? Still? No, it's gone now. I don't know what happened. Oh, that's so strange. Should I, start, should I start now? No, it's okay. I can just cut to this part. All right, cool. So Google Cloud Platform is a service offered by Google, and it allows you to um, use their resources to create uh, different virtual machines. Um, to register for it, you need a credit card, but don't worry. They're not going to charge you initially. Um, you get the first year for free up to, I think, 360 credits. Um, so when you first log in, this is actually what you see. It's a bit overwhelming, and I'm sure there are great tutorials online. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up a WordPress site. So we're going to head over to the marketplace on the left. Yeah. The marketplace is super easy because um, they basically just bundle everything you need into like one like single to de single to click deploy kind of um, area. Yeah. So like it, we're going to be setting up a WordPress site. So um, you just go here and it'll kind of give you a brief overview of what the contents uh, or the dependencies of this um deployment are going to be so instead of having to like go one by one and install like an operating system then go through installing all of these you can literally just install this um and and it'll get everything for you yeah yeah i didn't know so, this existed uh until you told me before i would actually create an, an individual vm and then install the os and then all the dependencies but this is so much easier yeah yeah exactly um so i'm gonna actually reduce the memory size to 0 0.6 <coughs> gigabytes um because it's also much cheaper like you can see it's four dollars and 83 cents a month yeah, versus cheap. like 15. um and yeah because it's just a wordpress site we're not running too much extra stuff on it like we yeah. don't really need much um so yeah you just fill this in with whatever information you want to include um so any like special special email addresses um if you want to change your your storage size um, and we're going to allow for HTTPS traffic as well. Uh, we'll set up the SSL certificate later, but yep. I just want to make sure that's enabled. Um, and then, yeah, just hit deploy. And that's it. You're going to have yeah, a WordPress so, site. Yeah, literally that's it. It was like that, that easy. But um, you can't go to it just yet. Why not? Well, we didn't set up the DNS. Oh, but you can still go to it. Okay, like, fine, yeah, you can still go to it, but... As soon as it's done deploying, it should give us uh, an IP address. Yeah. And then we can technically go to that IP address, but we want to make it point to like an actual domain. Yeah. So I'm actually going to open DuckDNS in the background here. So, yeah, so DuckDNS is a uh, free dynamic DNS uh, hosted on AWS. And what they do is they give you, <coughs> they give you um, five free domains to set up um, yeah. and the domain will be pointed to duckdns.org. So you can create anything you want. So let's just call this techiecast.duckdns.org yeah. and we'll add that domain um, and it'll default to like your current IP address. And we can just update that to the IP address that um, Google will give us. Which is so, right here. Yeah, so before I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just open this. Yeah. So yeah. You so go. you can see the actual website is already up. Like the WordPress yeah. site is already working on Google um, Compute Engine, and like it, it's a fully working WordPress site. Um, it just happens to be at this IP address that we don't want. So in DuckDNS, what we can do is just update the IP address. Oops. So uh, if 
192.219 and update IP and that's it so so now uh, this might take a couple seconds but if we go to techiecast.duckdns.org we should hit our um, our WordPress site we should excellent yeah, perfect so so yeah we have a website uh, a WordPress site in like how long was that like two minutes around there yeah okay so what's next what's next is what if you already have a, uh, a website Oh yeah. So if you already have a website, like if you already own like a domain, yeah. like techiecast dot um, dot com, or whatever isma dot com, whatever it is, yeah, you can use um, Hurricane Electric or any um, any DNS like um, management uh, area. Yeah. So like GoDaddy, like if you registered your domain with GoDaddy or like whoever you registered it with, usually you can set up your DNS servers there. Um, so I'm going to just log in and let's see if I have anything saved. I don't, but let's see if I can log in. Okay. Damn it. That didn't work? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we can, maybe we can try this one afterwards. We can just set it up with um, the duck DNS. Yeah, one. that's fine. Okay, so... Um, so yeah, so we already have our, uh, our website set up. Uh, what do we want to do next? We want to set up, uh, SSL, right? Yeah, so like I think that would be the next thing. step. Yeah. So to set up SSL, you would need to SSH into your server first. Yeah. And what that basically means is just being able to access the terminal, um, from within, uh, from within your site. Okay. And what I'm going to do is open up. Um, so we're going to use let's encrypt, right? Yeah. And I think on this install, we're running Apache. No, we're, running, we're definitely running Apache, but I think it's Debian 9.21. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know where to go on the, um, let's encrypt site? I'm just here right now. Let's encrypt. Yeah. Getting started. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yeah. It's at the top. I think getting started. Uh, I'm in just, oh, getting started. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I meant under overview. So we have cert, um, shell access, so we should be able to use certbot then. Yeah. So you can visit the certbot site. Nice. So and then, let's get certbot instructions. Yeah. So my, my, my website is running and oh, then you nice. can click the drop down. So easy. Yeah. So you're running so Apache and then you're running Debian, Debian what? Nine. Nine. There you go. Oh, that's sick. And now this tells you exactly what to copy and paste. Oh, that's so nice. It's so simple. Um, yeah. So, yeah, as long as you're SSH into here, you should be able to just run um, the, the script and yeah. it'll just ask you, do you want to continue? Yes. And then just let that go. Excellent. That is so amazing. And then this, this just sets up the repository, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And there's still a few more steps. Um, yeah, let's switch back over. So, yeah, so it looks like we have to um, call certbot and then just make sure that we're setting it to Apache. Okay. So, Apache. And it's going to ask you for an email address. So, let's put in an email address. Um, agree. Uh, nah. Um, please enter domains. Okay, yeah. So the domain we used was techiecasts. Dot duck. DNS. Dot org. Dot org. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to copy over the D the domain that you set up. So if you have your own domain that you set up, you can put that in here. Or in our case, we set this one up with um, just the duck DNS one. Yeah. And hit enter, and then it'll it'll perform all those all the certificate challenges that it would need to to verify that that is in fact your d domain and it looks like it worked so excellent um and then there's one last thing so it asks you do you want to set up a redirect or or no redirect and i'm going to set up a redirect so that all the traffic will automatically go to https which yeah. makes it more secure and it looks like that's it that's okay. pretty much it i think there's one more step though for automatic renewal oh yeah yeah. Okay, so this is only if you want a certificate, um, but 
for the automatic renewal so we're going to test this so let's just make sure that this works so it looks like right now it's not set for uh renewal because we literally just created it yeah um but it looks like it would work if it were okay I just want to make sure that that was the last step. The command to renew is in, yeah. Yeah. Confirm that it worked. So now, yeah, so let's confirm that it worked now. So um, originally... We should refresh it here. and it should work, right? Uh, I think so, right? Yeah, it should redirect to HTTPS. Because right now it's not secure. Yeah. Um, if we refresh this. Yeah. Oh, sick. I don't know what all this stuff is. Yeah, that looks terrible. But that... That's weird. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, that looks so strange. Oh, you know why? Okay, yeah, so there's one more step we have to do. So What's that? we have to go into the WordPress settings and just make sure that the, um, the site is pointed to the correct domain because originally it was set to an IP address. Okay. Um, and so we just have to make sure that it's set to a domain now. So, and it might tell you that it is not safe, but that's okay for now. Yeah. Okay. So we have to use our uh, default username and password that was given to us from Google, which it should give you right here. This is temporary, but you should make sure that you change it as soon as you log in. Yeah. Um, And log in. All right. Did I type something wrong? Um. Wait, is there a is there an S at the end? Yeah, oh, there yeah, is an S at the end. My bad. My bad too. I didn't even <laughs> notice that initially. Okay. Uh, and the password. <laughs> This happens to me all the time. <laughs> so let's log in. So what you need to make sure you change is if you go to your settings. Yeah. Um, in your WordPress settings, just make sure you change the domain, like the actual WordPress URL to the, to the new domain that you registered. So <coughs> um, it'll be uh, techiecasts.duck. DNS.org. Wait, was it Techie Casts or Techie Cast? Uh, it was Techie Casts. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, just copy that over here. Okay. And then save those changes. See, I didn't know really you had to do that, actually. Yeah, so this is an important step because when Google um, Google registers the new, like, virtual machine and does all that stuff, yeah, it doesn't know what, what domain to use, right? So that's why it's pointed to an IP address. And okay. it also passes that IP address to the WordPress settings. Okay. And so that's why in WordPress it's set to the IP address. So if we go so back now, to our site now, it should look normal. Yeah, like it automatically like um, reloaded itself. So like you can see in the domain that it's pointing to the correct domain now. Yeah. So like if I just close um, these tabs and like open it again. So if I go to techiecast.dns.org. Yeah. So oh, perfect. So secure now. Nice. So that's yeah, it? So we set up the SSL, yeah, that's it. Perfect. So we uh, we registered a website. We installed WordPress. Yep. We set up the SSL certificate. Yep. And honestly, probably five minutes. Like a lot of it, we just talked a lot. But yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was talk, basically five minutes talked, or less. We talked for the sake of talking. Yeah. But yeah. Like we literally have a site running um, WordPress in like five minutes. Yeah. And like from here, you can do all the stuff you want to do. If you want to install like a new theme, um, you can do that from here. Uh, if you want to like set it up with even WooCommerce, like you can install new themes, new plugins, all that stuff that you would normally do on um, on WordPress. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, that's it.